Hi, I'm Nate, and you're watching Photo Learningism. I really wanted to get to something brand new. It's called Affinity Photo Editor. It's a fantastic new product that's out. I really want to get to it right now. Okay, once again, I'm Nate. This is Photo Learningism. I'm so happy you're joining in for another video. We're going to look at another fantastic product tonight. If this is your first time joining in, thank you so much. I do my best on this channel to build a community of learning to surface art technologies that can benefit your process. I'm coming at this from a photographer and somewhat of a graphic designer, but this can embody all kinds of art and digital drawing. So I really hope they can get something valuable out of this tonight. Uh, look back on the other videos if you would. There's It covers all kinds of things from different photo tools, mostly free, to uh, photo management tools, to video editors, and even screen recording technology and all kinds of stuff. So go take a look. Thank you again for joining us for this particular one. And um, don't hesitate to subscribe and join the conversation as we go. I really love it when I hear back from the community. So looking at a fo Affinity Photo Editor. This is a tool that actually somebody in the community turned me on to. And I just, I was amazed from the moment I fired it up and playing with it. And, and wow, there's just so much built into this, which I can't even scratch into. But I wanted to highlight some of the really good things that make it distinct from other photo editors I've used. Let me just say that this is not free the other things that i've i've looked at are free and right now i'm on a free trial myself but having said that the, the pricing is very reasonable and yeah, a lot of the features are, are worthwhile that cost so we'll get into that in a little bit but looking at the surface getting started is very simple it gives you normal templates uh, similar to other programs like krita like gimp that make it very easy to get started depending on the type of project you want to do uh, so you can kick it into the right dimensions right off the bat. The uh, features that I was really amazed with very you know, up front just playing with it are uh, if we tap into the one of the paintbrushes here, there's this really neat feature called the stabilizer. And what that does is it gives you kind of an assisted draw. And that may sound like cheating, but really it's helping you steady out what you want to draw and it can save a lot of time if you're looking to draw a line a certain way. You can kind of see how there's that line out in front and what's happening, that's me moving the mouse back and forth, that's giving me the opportunity to figure out ahead of time where I want to pull this thing, almost like if it were on a, a certain lead rope. And what that does is that it gives me the ability to really smooth out the line I'm attempting to do. It's really innovative and could be huge if you're trying to do int intricate pattern work uh, with this thing. Again, you could mess around with the different brush sizes and draw this in a number of different ways, but it's really, really powerful and I really like that. Not because I'm bad with my hands, but sometimes you just need a little help with the finer details. So that could be of great use. Another area to look at here are styles and where this becomes valuable is is kind of like a quick tack on of an effect. And while it's a place to begin, you can make fine-tune adjustments here in the effects panel. Now, this may look very familiar if you're into dark table or raw therapy because this is kind of the approach those tools use where you have to flip things on and off as you need them. And the same thing is true here. When you apply a style, that bridges over into the effects panel and you can mess around and change these things around as it seems best, which is really cool. I can go into the gradient overlay and I can change some of those pieces if I wanted to. I can go into, let's just see, the 3D, I believe it is. And we can change some of the color. So we can mess with the shadow a little bit and see that work. So again, you can ha use that as like a quick launching place. If you, you know, if, if it gets you 90% of the way there and you can tweak it from there, that's pretty cool. I believe you can do this with text. You can do this with drawing. I just demonstrated that right now. Uh, so there's a lot of potential there for making your drawing process that much more efficient. One last thing I just wanted to highlight out here, and again, there's so much here. Go check this out. There's a free trial for 10 days. Well worth it. Go play around. Uh, is this Mesh Warp Tool. And this has got to be, it's got to be one of the most powerful manipulative tools that I have ever seen for doing layering like this. It gives you an access on every corner, which you can 
bend and tweak in the X and Y. And I was just blown away by how much control you had here with this. It's, it's, you could potentially draw this around something <laughs> using these controls. And that's, that's really neat when you're going to get into graphic or when you just want to pattern a texture around something else that you worked hard to create. Or if you just took a picture of something that needs to be manipulated around a contour. This makes that so easy to do. So very innovative, very powerful technology. The product is only $50. Um, and it's a one-time fee. <laughs> so that really impressed me as well. If you're into Photoshop, I see a lot of the same kinds of tools and power and, and stuff built into it here. You do have layers. You have all those same things. You have masking. It's all here. And you get the benefit of one license fee that you don't have to renew. Remember those days? <laughs> They're back. Affinity Photo, I'm going to put a link to the des uh, in the description below so you can go download the trial yourself and try it out. Please go do that and even can't consider supporting this product because it's it's worth it. Thank you so much for joining in. I hope this is new information that is valuable to you. Once again, I'm Nate. This is Photo Learningism. Please do subscribe if this was helpful to you. Give me a thumbs up if it was valuable information. And I hope to see you again in the videos yet to come. Have a great night. Take care.